Industrial coastlines interspersed with wood processing operations, rail yards and all kinds of manufacturing facilities are how many cities like Nanaimo began. However, as our reliance on this sector of economic development and activity has shifted over the past 100 years, so too has the vision what could or should occupy the coastal terrain. That's the key strategic plan is the uh, community has talked about access to the water and extensions of our walkways and getting to the water and view corridors through to the water and those will all be part of the, uh, the issues that we deal with. The downtown waterfront is already a popular destination for residents and tourists alike. A picturesque walkway dotted with living spaces, restaurants and retail shops stretches along most of the city's oceanfront boundary. The city of Nanaimo has entered into a purchase sale agreement at a cost of $3.4 million to secure long-term planning options for a key section of waterfront property. It has a long, narrow part which uh, we want it part of the deal uh, as future access. We've bought about 27 acres of what's known as the CP lands and that's primarily the uh, northwestern portion of the property, about half of the property extending from Front Street down to the access that comes across the trestle. This is a key property for the city uh, in terms of our transit, moving our transit exchange down to the uh, area behind me, which is the area that fronts onto uh, Front Street, known as the Pallet property. That's been identified as a prime spot for the transit exchange. That's an exciting part of the uh, project. Uh, initially, everyone was just thinking about a transportation exchange for buses, but clearly there's a need for uh, the trains. They may have some uh, interest in the transit exchange as well as any potential long-term uh, ferry issues that may also uh, need to use the transit exchange. Uh, exciting to be part of that planning process. Like other harbour cities, it's a working waterfront and changing the industrial landscape will have its challenges. The deal hinges on an environmental review and there are long-term leaseholders using the property including C-SPAN, the Island Corridor Foundation, GAD Marine and Island Pallet Solutions. Well that is a key challenge to this property, that's why it hasn't sold in the past and why it's a long-term hold for the city, an important strategic purchase long-term. Uh, there's a lot of encumbrances on this land that we'll be looking at. Uh, we're meeting with all the tenant and leaseholders and all the licenses are being reviewed and we'll come up with a strategy to bring forward to council as part of the uh, property purchase. This new name you, First Nation lands are adjacent to the industrial property and they hold both treaty rights and land purchase options which could affect redevelopment plans. And Chief Doug White was not available for comment. And that's going to be something that will come out of the strategic plan, getting the key stakeholders in the community involved in what we see as the future for these lands. They are key, they're the last large vacant lots uh, remaining in the downtown and, and that will be an important part of the community vision. The evolution of the city of Nanaimo's southern waterfront will only begin if the land title is transferred to the city on March 31st. In Nanaimo, I'm Annette Lucas.